one of the first things I do when setting up a new sub account or building out a snapshot is creating a pipeline. And a pipeline is, is just that. It's a pipeline of the leads. Think of it as a um, kind of like a visualization of where leads are in the funnel. <clears throat> and I don't mean literal uh, like funnel that you would, like a landing page funnel. I mean more of an overall lead fu lead funnel, lead flow. So opt-ins, um, appointments booked, no-shows, show-ups, cancellations, uh, new customers, opt-outs, right? DND, do not re uh, respond, do not uh, reply, whatever it is. Um, this is... The, the pipeline is is kind of a visualization of that and it does have a lot of functionality it's this is basically your spine your your skeleton your framework that all of your automations are going to be built on top of so let's go ahead and create a pipeline um i don't know why <laughs> go high levels kind of bugging out here it won't let us create one here no problem we can go into settings um, and we can hit pipelines and then we'll just hit create new pipeline up here um, pipeline name. So this is, you could have pipelines for each ad source, right? You could have fa a Facebook ads pipeline. Yeah. And then, or you could have a cold calling pipeline. Or you could have a YouTube ads pipeline, right? This, the pipeline name, the, what the pipeline is, is basically the source of leads or what it is built for. For this example, let's do Facebook ads, okay? And we're going to have a few stages here. For this example, let's go ahead and keep it nice and simple. But essentially, when people um, sign up for Facebook ads, they, they opt in, right? So it's going to be the first stage. And then something else that they could do is, let's say we're, you know, we're running a funnel, um, and on that funnel, they can book in an appointment. Okay, so after they opt in, they can book an appointment. Now, they could, once they have an appointment booked, they could become a cancellation. They could be a no-show. They could show up. And then, whether they cancel, no-show, or show up, they could become a, uh, a new customer for your client. Let's call that closed. Um, and then we could also have do not disturb uh, negative reply, opt out, whatever it is, right? And um, maybe you could also, if you're qualifying leads, you could have disqualified. Uh, you could also have oops, not not interested. And basically, uh, like disqualified or not interested, you guys could follow back up with these leads, maybe monthly, maybe quarterly. Um, and I would actually break up the not interested and the disqualified and the people who tell you to, to F off. Um, because you can't really technically, um, I break the rules personally, but if you want to abide by the rules, you're not supposed to contact these people again. However, if they just say that they're not interested, they don't tell you to remove them from the list, you could contact them again with a DR um, or with another kind of follow-up campaign. Same with disqualified, just because, for, let's use real estate as an example, um, just because someone is, you know, does not have the money to purchase a house now doesn't mean they won't have the money to purchase a house six months from now, right? Things can change. Um, so I would follow up with both of these people I personally follow up with these people as well, but not suggesting that because technically you're not supposed to. Uh, however, this is what the pipeline, uh, just a standard pipeline would look like. So let's go ahead and click save here. And what's going to happen is when we go back and go into our opportunities, we'll be able to see all the leads um, in the pipeline that we have here. Yeah. Now, I'll show you guys how to automatically place in leads in the opt-in stage when we get into uh, the automations. But this is just how we set up the pipeline. This is what pipelines are used for. 
And uh, essentially, now that we have something to visualize, let's just go through uh, like a, a quick rundown without getting into automation details, because I do want to have a specific video about automations because there's so much. But when a lead opts in, they will automatically show up in this opt-in um, stage, right? And these individual tabs are pipeline stages, right? So this is the pipeline, and then these are pipeline stages. And when a lead opts in, they'll show up here, and you'll have a list of leads that show up here. Those that book an appointment will automatically be moved over here. And again, I'll show you how to, to set up the automation for that to happen. Those that cancel be moved here. Those that don't show up or show up will be moved here. And I'll show you guys how to automate uh, the tracking of show ups and no shows, which is so useful, but we'll have a video on that, um, et cetera, right? Leads will, will just be moved here automatically. Uh, disqualified, those will probably be manually moved. And let me go ahead <clears throat> and let's create, cool. Now, <clears throat> you can, excuse me, you can drag these leads over. So a lot of this will end up being automated, but some of these, like you can't automatically disqualify someone. So we'll have to manually drag these leads over. And what you do is you just, you drag their contact card and then you can drag them over into the appropriate pipeline stage. Now let's also, while we're in here, let's talk about opportunities, right? So each one of these leads that is in here is by go high levels terminology is an opportunity and you can do a few things with the opportunities you can call them you could text them you can add a tag and we'll have a specific video about tags you can add notes um, which are very useful I would suggest doing uh, adding notes where I'll in, inside the automations video we're actually uh, going to go over how to automatically add notes. So if somebody books in an appointment, it will add a note, hey, appointment booked on this day, their appointment time and location is this. Um, lead opted in on this time. We'll automate a lot of the notes, but if you want to add a manual note, um, such as callback in January, I don't know, out of town until then, something like this, um, we can add this note here. And then that will help, uh, you know, back end like a, like a VA uh, could check the notes. Tasks. So if we want to manually, uh, add, so if we want to add a task like call lead, call lead about selling home, oops, selling home. And then we would just, let's say we want to call them on Friday. Yeah. We could add a task to this lead. And if you have, um, you could assign it to a specific VA. So when the VA logs in, they'll see this under manual tasks. So we could add a task here. All right. And then this will show up under um, the manual actions under conversations, right? Now, obviously it's not showing up now because it's not the, the it, it it's scheduled for Friday, right? Or next Friday. Um, and then the last one is you can book in an appointment for the leads right through here, All right? So if you want to manually book in an appointment, you can do that. We'll have a video on how to set up calendars. Um, but yeah, we'll probably actually have uh, a video on uh, booking in appointments for leads specifically, but you could do that through this. Now, one last thing to note about opportunities is that you could click the contact name and it will take you to everything about the contact, right? It's gonna, if you have any future tasks, which we said in earlier, I just checked that off. <laughs> but uh, let's do this completed task. There we go. So here it was, all right? We can uncheck it. Now it's still due. Uh, all the notes, all the appointments that are booked, uh, activity. So this will be like the lead op, uh, entered into this workflow, the lead opted in at this time, the lead filled out this form all the activity linked to this specific lead is done here. And uh, let me just quickly say that everything on Go High Level is done on a lead by lead basis. You can't do, you can set up workflows that affect all the leads at once, but you can't do one thing for everything on 
go high level. Like each workflow will only do uh, the tasks for the specific lead at once. Um, so everything is done on a lead by lead basis. And I guess that'll make more sense when we get into automations. Um, but if we have any <clears throat> extra information, it will be here in the uh, in the contacts page. And again, we can just access that by clicking the lead's name. Okay. So that's pipelines, um, pipelines and opportunities. Again, this is kind of the skeleton for everything that we'll be doing and go high level, especially the automations. So this is the first thing I would get set up and you guys can come in here uh, to pipelines and just edit these stages at any time. So if you want to uh, add a stage, if you want to get rid of a stage, you can do that. And these ones right here, this basically just shows you. So like if we were to, let's say, let's do this. Let's say we didn't want to track cancellations for whatever reason, right? We could hide them from here and then on the dashboard, um, it will just not have uh, cancellations, even though it does. Double check that. Ah, there we go. Just took a second to update. So now the cancellations aren't here. Um, but this, now the dashboard might be making a little more sense. This will track um, the, the, the performance of the opportunities, right? And you can also, this video is kind of getting long, but that's perfectly fine. Let's go back into settings. It's a comprehensive video. So you can actually have multiple pipelines. So if you're running YouTube ads, uh, opt-in, as well as... When we booked, if you're running YouTube ads as well as Facebook ads, um, you can just select them and you can isolate these so you can track performance on uh, both of these lead sources, which is very helpful.